Okay guys, I went ahead and implemented a number of methods that we would obviously want to have in application. So I'll just go ahead and show you and uh, hopefully by the end of this video we'll be done with this findable threads. It's been a pain. Okay, so the first method I implemented was pending friend request IDs. Yeah, so first of all we had a pending friend request method and uh, this method actually just returns to us an array of all the users from whom we have pending friend request. So this pending friend request ID simply collects the results from there, so it turns into a collection, plucks out the IDs and then transforms it to an array and returns the result to us. Now the pending friend request sent is a method that's going to help us know the request that a particular user has sent. So the pending friend request that he has sent to other users that have not been accepted yet. So this is going to be a very helpful method and how did I implement this? First. I have a blank array, a user's array, and uh, in the friendships table, I look for all the friendships that have not been accepted, and as soon as I get them, I filter them by where the requester is this particular user. So this particular user has sent a number of requests to a particular number of users, and uh, every time he sends a request, Obviously, a new voice is created in the database and his ID is saved as requester. So if we want to get the number of friendships that he has sent out and have not yet been accepted, we have to just find where the status is zero and the requester is him. So we get all those results so we have a collection and for each of those friendship instances that we get, we find the user who was requested by passing in the, us the, the user requested integer into the find method of the users class and then we push that result into our empty array and as soon as we get that we just return the array. So the next method I implemented was pending friend request sent IDs. So I just did the same thing. I got the results from the pending friend request sent and I just collected them. I plucked out the IDs and I passed them to an array. I cut them to an array. Okay. So now the next method I actually implemented was has pending friend request from. So I need to check this user we are, re re we are reviewing right now. Does he have a pending request from a user of ID user ID? So if he's in the array of pending friend request IDs, which we have right here. So pending friend request IDs is going to give us a, an array of IDs of the users from which this user has pending friend request. So I will just check if this user is, if this ID is in that array, it means obviously he has a pending friend request from that user and the else will just return a false. So we also have to check has pending friend request two. Okay. So if the user, our particular user has a pending friend request to a particular user. For example, if I sent you a friend request and I am waiting for your response, it means I have a pending friend request sent to you. So if he's in the array of pending friend request sent to, then we are just going to return a one and else we're going to return a zero. And uh, this is some sort of cleanup I did. And uh, I decided to do it like this because we actually can't be returning responses right here because maybe some buddy doesn't want to use this application with Vue.js or with a front end framework. So he's going to require the results as clean as he, as he can. So what we're going to do is actually just clean all of this and just return maybe ones and zeros or whatever we want to return. And then when we're using it in our controllers, we can decide if we want to return responses or not. So right here, if it's a true, I'm just going to return a one. And if it's a false, I'll just return a zero. Then I can go ahead and check if those results are ones or zeros. Okay. So everywhere I have a response, I'll just change that into a one or a zero. So right here, if he's friends with, I'm just going to say, okay, yes, he's friends with this user. So I'll return a one. And if he's not friends with, I'm just going to return a zero. Same thing everywhere. Okay. So let's go ahead and see how these methods work. So in my web.php, I also cleaned it up. So right here, I'm just going to implement a route. It's going to be a get. Call this method check. Okay. So this is going to get an instance of the user and you'll find a particular user and it's going to call a method on that user class. So first thing I want to do is actually clean up my database so that we can start from scratch. So PHP artisan migrate refresh and the PHP artisan tinker. Okay, so that's done. 
I have users in my database. So now I have five users in my database. Go ahead and do the same. Okay, so first thing I want to do, get the user of ID one and uh, add friend. So I'll say add friend user of ID two. So we're implementing the add friend method and uh, we just go ahead and send add friend to user two. So let's head over to that route right here slash check and uh, it's returning a one meaning that we successfully added him as a friend okay so the next thing we'll do is check if the user has pending friend requests so in our friendable we have a bunch of methods that we have to try out here so we'll say pending friend request first of all so pending friend request for user 2 so find user 2 and get the pending friend request for that user and it should give us one okay so we have one pending friend request from user 1 which obviously makes sense and uh, if we check if user 1 has any pending friend request it should be a blank array which is this and uh, we can go ahead and check the next method which is pending friend request IDs I think so pending friend request IDs it should just give us one so right here and uh, it's a blank so first of all we have to check for user 2 okay so we have one and uh, the next method we want to check is pending friend request sent so we'll see the number of users to whom this user has sent friend requests that have not been answered so for user 2 it should obviously be empty but for user 1 since he sent a friend request to user 2 it should be 1 and it should give us user 2's profile okay so the next thing we want to do is check um, for our has pending friend request from so we check if has a pending friend request from a particular user so user one do you have a pending friend request from user two and that should return a zero which is false so it means he doesn't have a pending friend request from user two so but user two has a pending friend request from user one and that should give us a one it does so the next method we're gonna check out is uh has pending friend request two so right here has pending friend request two. So we'll check if user one has a pending friend request to user two. And that give us a yes because he sent a friend request to user two. And then let's go ahead and check if it's correct in the other direction. It should give us a false. And it does. Okay, so I think all our methods in this thread work fine. So what we're going to do is actually just place a little bit of security on our database because right here, as you can see, um, a, a user can actually send a friend request twice because we are not protecting it and a user can actually send a friend request to himself because we are not protecting our database. So right here, we're just going to implement some methods, some security so that our database is secure. So the first thing that we're going to check here is if this ID so the person who is trying to send a friend request is equal to is equal to the user requested ID then just return a zero because obviously this user actually can't be a friend to himself so the next thing we want to check is if this user has pending friend request to the user requested id and the, remember this method actually sends us a one right here actually returns a one if it's successful so what we're just gonna check here is if it's equal to one so if this method returns a one then we're just gonna say return already sent a friend request and though the last thing we want to check actually is make sure that this user has pending friend request from so has pending friend request from so if this user has a pending friend request from the user requested id and this if this returns a one so this method also returns a one and uh, we'll make sure that if this user has a pending friend request from this user what we're just gonna do here is just accept his friendship request so we'll say this accept friend user requested ID okay so if the user 
who is actually trying to add a friend or make friends with this other user has a pending friend request from this user then we're just gonna accept his friendship okay so it's like yeah but even though it might actually never happen because we are going to be in control of our application yeah but uh we just put this here for security of our database so the last method i would like to secure is our accept friendship method and right here i'll just try to make sure that if you're accepting a friendship make sure this friendship should actually be in the database so i'm just gonna say if this user has a pending friend request from the requester equals zero then just return a zero okay so if this has a pending friend request form which is the has pending friend request method right here so has pending friend request has pending friend request from if this fails it's actually gonna return a zero so we're just checking to make sure that if this does not have if this user does not have a pending friend request from the requester then we shouldn't actually accept anything because we're not gonna find anything in the database so we'll just return a zero for a fail okay so finally let's just go ahead and try this in our web file so i'll clean this up and uh i'll just add a friend and I'll add user 5 as user 3's friend. Okay, so I'll just send a friend request from user 3 to user 5. So right here, user 3 to user 5, it accepted. Okay, so it sent a friend request. So right now, let me try to send that friend request again by refreshing. And it said already sent a friend request. Okay, so let me try to add user 3 as user 5's user. Let me try to use user 5 to send user 3 a friend request right here so so it returns a one meaning that it actually accepted that friendship in the database like we specified right here and that method returned us a one okay right here so it returns us a one so i think one thing we've forgotten about is if they are already friends so i'll just go ahead and make sure i put that check right here so if this is friends with so user requested id so if this method returns a one, then we'll just say return a string already friends. Okay, so that's the last check we forgot about. Okay, so let's go ahead and try out that last method. So let's try to send a friend request, but they are already friends. So if we refresh, already friends so everything looks to be working normally and i'm sorry about the long video guys we just had to finish with the friendship thread in this video so that in the next video we'll actually go ahead and jump into our application for real time but i really really hope you've learned a lot from implementing this thread like i said we could actually just use a package yeah but we decided to do it together so we learn how to implement friendships or learn how to implement eloquent relationships in Lavo. so i really really hope you've learned a lot go ahead and give me your feedback tell me if you learned a lot uh, in, in 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 implementing the friendship tell me if it was really helpful yeah so in the next video we'll actually go ahead and concentrate on our application building the Vue.js components that are going to help us send friend requests and all that so thank you very much see you in the next video